Okay, well I've been messing about a bit using my little Allen key and a chart um, with all the different possible combinations in quarter turns. I didn't have to go very far. Um, the right hand one was normally three turns up from full down and I took it back a quarter of a turn and the left hand one is two and a half turns up from full down and I took it down two quarter turns, half a turn. And voila! What happens is that everything seems to play. It's going to prove me a liar now. But we'll put a Super Audio CD in. And watch it down here. It should come up with the multi-channel sounds. So I, at least it, I might have to toggle the setup. There we go. Multi-channel. Immediately. Furthermore, it actually plays, would you believe? Sometimes it does. Yeah, there we go. I'll push it on a track to the second track. Well, would you believe it? Oh, look. <laughs> hey, dear. <coughs> I'm going to have to do a bit more fine adjusting, I think. Try messing. Just a fraction up on that one. About a quarter turn. Back to one. To two. And it's going to going to let me down. Oh, this one. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh, it's trying. I'm going to do a little bit that way. Incidentally, whatever you do, don't try and open the CD drawer while the Allen key's in, because the drawer goes past the Allen key hole. Skipping there. Very sensitive stuff. Incidentally, I took the HDMI cable out because uh, this version of HDMI on this particular player doesn't support Super Audio CD. The Denon link does, but I haven't got that connected. I've just shoved an analog cable in. If that plays. It's been just like a train. You've obviously got to mess about and it's, uh, it's a pretty sensitive thing. So whereas I had my chart in quarter turns, it looked like tenth turns. The trouble is the uh, the Allen screws um, are, are quite loose when they're out this far from the base, like three and a bit turns up. So uh, I can understand how this goes out of sync because um, I guess what happens is when it's calibrated in the factory then there's a bit of paint put over it um, to stop them being jerked out of place but at the best it's a very crude adjustment mechanism. Anyway, there we go. I've got my SACDs playing again and even the audios and everything else played as well so pretty good. That's it guys. Um, do take care with the power if you try this yourselves. 
Thanks for watching.